record, but this team, uh, they really play hard. Let's just talk about this test you guys are going to face coming up. Oh, man, it doesn't matter what Tennessee's record is, you know. Um, you, you can't, you can't, um, you can't tell in the SEC period. But um, when we come play Tennessee, they gonna bring that A game every time we play them. It doesn't really matter. Alabama Tennessee is a real big rivalry game. Um, just in the SEC period, you know, they they always come. They play hard every time we play them. Like last year, we couldn't say anything about their record, but when they came to play us, they put on a fight. And um, we really gotta be prepared this year for what they have for us. What kind of trick plays? Um, how hard they're going to come. We got to play hard just like they do, and we got to overcome whatever they have for us. <clears throat> Questions? Coach talked about how well Darius Hanks has done this year. How, do, how well do you think he's played? Oh, um, man, he stepped his game up big time. Um, from last year and the year before, he really he really brought himself to become a leader, you know, a leader on the team. A lot of receivers, a lot of the young receivers look up to him. Isn't like the playmaker um, as a leader. Um, all all the way around, he's a good person. He's changed. He's changed dramatically um, over the years and stuff. And I wasn't here when when he first got here, but I heard the way things was going, and the way they look at him now, he doesn't look nothing the same. He's um he's a better person, if you would like to say. He's a real good dude. Marcel, you guys kind of challenged yourselves last week to up the intensity and to work harder in practice. <coughs> How did that translate out on the field? Coach Saban mentioned that it looked like the intensity was there on Saturday for you guys. Um, yeah, um, we really we really wanted to turn it up last week. Um, at practice, we tried to turn it up. Um, we fought through a lot of pains and a lot of people was injured, but we was we were to the point where like it, that doesn't even matter. Um, we're here to play good football, to play the best football we can play, and we we'll go out there and give it our all. We can't go out there and half step like we did the game before. So we just had to go in there and play the best game we could play. When the um, offense kind of struggling like this now, how much more important is it for the defense to bring it every Saturday? I mean, as a team, you know, we always we gonna tell the offense regardless. We have y'all back, no matter what what we're going through. We still there for you. Are we gonna give them everything we have? If we go, out, if we gotta go out there and make extra plays and do extra things, just try to get the ball back. Force fumbles, get interceptions, rattle the quarterback's cage a little bit. Whatever it takes to get offense back on the field so they can get their rhythm, we, we got their back. We tell them every day, every game, every practice, every snap. Marshall, growing up in the state, uh, I'm, I'm sure you followed all the, the both programs in the state, but just uh, now, when you look from afar, <coughs> the other team across the state, they're putting up some like basketball like scores. Do you pay attention to that, just how crazy some of the offenses are scoring in this league right now? I mean, what teams are you talking about? Uh, that team around the other state. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they got a great program. They always had a good program. But um, I always said if they, they find a good combination with their team, they went and got a coach, great coach, putting up plays, offense out there executing them. They always had a good defense. Their defense showing up. Um, they went and got a quarterback that is fulfilling their whole offense to to the T. I mean, I, I can't say nothing about Cam. He's doing great out there. Um, it's just when, get a chance, when we come around to play us, we got to do our best to contain him and do the best with our offense and get some yards on him. And we just do what we can. We're not worried about the points that they're putting up. We're not worried about what they're doing. It's just so much about us. We go out to execute what we have to do. What they're doing doesn't even matter. Marcel, there was a, uh, a player that they think may be uh, paralyzed from the neck down uh, from Rutgers, got and took a really violent hit. And I'm just wondering, um, with injuries in the game you play, how grateful you are to be able to get back up and sustain these injuries and be able to, to keep playing when you hear of, of news like that. Man, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, when, I, when I ask him I get hurt, like I take a blow to the ankle. Um, I I laid up for I laid up for a hot sec just to regain some strength and just be like I can still move it and. I can get up and I can get off the field, and I would go to the. I, of course, I'd be mad that I got hurt, but I would get to the sideline and and think about the players that they can't play anymore. You know, they they have got injuries to the point where they just like you say, paralyzed from the neck down. We still be thankful that I can go back out there, and so I'm not gonna sit on the sideline for anything, no matter how hurt I am. Um, if I still if I still can walk, I still can play, and I'm still gonna go out there and give my all because there's people that can't give nothing. They just sit and watch and just from a distance from what they used to can play or what they used to can do this and do that. I'm just going to be thankful for what I can do and still go out there and give them all.
Marcel, there was a play in the Ole Miss game where you ran to the sideline and cleaned up Bolden there on the sideline. Looked like you were running pretty well. Do you feel like you're coming into your own as far as your health and as far as how you're playing? Yeah, um, of course. I really, I'm really getting the rhythm back, you know. It's kind of like I thought it was going to be good before the Arkansas game, then I hurt my ankle. And I was just like, you know, it's going to be a little battle trying to get back. The trainers, Jeff, when they told them, I said, it's going to be a battle. You got to fight through the pain and everything like that. So when I do get hurt in the games, I just feel like don't even think about it. You know, when I see a play and they, if I see a play and I know I can make it, pain isn't even, pain isn't even an option. It's just, I said, you got to go out there and give it your all. You still have to run to the ball. Uh, if you headed that direction, you got might as well just turn it on and keep going. Pain, pain is nothing. After after that play, I did feel it, but it's just at the same time, you had to get back to the huddle, you know, get the play, get the call, and we still had to get off the field on third down. One or two more. Is everybody like that, Marcel? Does everybody have that that heart to, to run through the pain? I mean, of course, we have a lot. We have a lot of players that's like that's really beat up, you know. One of the toughest players, I, tough play, the two toughest players that I have ever played with or have ever seen is Julio Jones and DJ Fluker. I mean, I see those guys and I'm like, man, it's like, I see, I see them two practice, I see them work, I see them pra um, playing the game, and it, it motivates me. Like, like Fluker, I give my hat to him. It's just, he works so hard every day in and out, day in, day out. Like, he hurt his groin, um, what his game was that? South Carolina game, he heard it growing real bad. And it's like, he still played. He barely can walk on a plane. He barely got back to the, wasn't that? It's just like, he still played. He gave everything he had. And I ask him, I ask him every day, ask every player, man, just give me everything you have. I will give you everything I have. I will not sit on this sideline and watch y'all play a game and knowing I can go out there and do something to help. And um, Julio Jones, man, he just, he, he didn't did this, he didn't did that, man. He's. And he just fight, he fight through everything. You cannot tell him, Jones, you're not gonna practice, you're not gonna play. He gonna be like, I, I, he look at you crazy, like, well, you crazy. He still gonna, he still gonna suit up. He's, if he, if, if he got anything going on with him, he's still gonna practice. If he, he had surgery on his hand, he still went out to practice the next day and running routes like ain't nothing wrong with it. And we might have threw him the ball, but it was like, he was still running routes hard, like the ball was gonna come his way. Just him showing that effort, me on the sideline watching him run his routes while defense taking their break, just watching him be like, me with a hurt ankle has nothing to do with anything. It's, it's, it, we can fight through anything, we can fight through this little pain.